The Fitbit Lux is the most expensive fitness tracker you can get right now. And if it's worth your money, well, that's what we're going to find out today. Hey, my name is Leonard and you are watching the product reviewer. Now today we will talk about the Fitbit Lux, a very tiny piece of wearable for a hefty price of 150 euros. Now this tracker features an all day heart rate monitoring, a breathing rate tracker and a bunch of more features. But before we jump into some features and some specs, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It will help me tremendously in the YouTube algorithm. Also click the notification bell to always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Now with that being said, let's jump into some specs. First up, the Fitbit Lux is compatible with iOS 13.3 and above and Android 8 and above. It is water resistant up to 5 ATM, so it's no problem to swim with this one, but just don't go deep diving and you're good to go. With this tracker, we have a full color AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 206 by 124 pixel. Overall, we have a super sleek design and that goes for the soft silicon strap and the stainless steel case tracker. As for last, we have an accelerometer, optical heart rate sensor and a blood oxygen measurement, which unfortunately does not work yet. As for next, the battery life. And I now had this tracker on my wrist for the last week or so and you get like five days of battery life out of it and it only takes two hours to fully charge it. Now, of course, if you're using this tracker more heavily, you will get less out of the battery life, but overall, five days of battery life really is not half bad. Now, finally, up to some features. Now, with this one, you receive all kinds of notifications, not only your private messages, but it also alerts you when you're running low on battery or when you receive new workout badges and a lot more. And all of that is customizable in the Fitbit app. As for the sport modes, you have 21 different ones to choose from but you can only have six of them on your tracker at all times. If you want to swap them out, you have to do it via the Fitbit app. Now with the Fitbit Lux, you have all the major sport modes covered like swimming, running, hiking, and even stuff like strength training and yoga. And if you think yoga is easy, go ahead and try it. It is not, at least in my experience. Now the only sport modes you do not get on this tracker are ball sports like basketball, soccer, or football but that's not half bad since you cannot wear any gear during the game anyways, at least over here in Germany. Just to complete the list, we have a guided breathing session between one and 10 minutes, alarms, timer, and a stopwatch. The sleep tracker on the Fitbit Lux works very good. It not only is super accurate on when you went to bed and woke up, but it also gives you your different sleep stages, which are by the way, light and deep sleep, REM, and a wake time. Now the funny thing is that I really feel like that the Fitbit Lux is tracking your sleep stages very good. Now, why would I think that? Now the REM phase is the phase in which you start to dream. And normally I don't dream or I cannot remember my dreams, but on this one day during the night, I had several dreams. And normally my REM phase is like 45 minutes long. And on that particular day, the watch told me it was about one hour 45 or two hours long. And that makes me think that the Fitbit Lux is working a little bit better than other ones. But that's just my personal experience. Now, just like the sleep tracker, the heart rate tracker is very accurate. It doesn't matter if it's your daily heart rate or your heart rate during some workouts. The Fitbit Lux is doing very well. You do not even have some high spikes during the day. Only the calorie count is a little bit high here and there, but overall the Fitbit Lux is quite accurate. Now to some things that I do not like about the Fitbit Lux and some stuff that we just don't get with this one, like the built-in GPS. If you're looking for built-in GPS, you're simply not going to find it. And that's normally no problem since fitness trackers normally do not have built-in GPS. But normally fitness trackers down the cast like half of this. Now that brings me to the next point, the price. And for the features that we get, 150 euros is way above the price that it should be. You have other trackers which are just as good like the Huawei Band 6. They have all the same features like or some specs and maybe just look a little bit different, but overall they're pretty much the same and they only cost half of the price. If Fitbit would cap down its cost to like 100 euros, it would be still a little bit high, but reasonable. Another thing is that you do not get all of the features if you're not a Prime member. So that means you do not get all of the stress management analytics, a more detailed sleep analysis, some workouts, some personal workouts and a bunch of more stuff. Now you do get a free six months free trial if you buy a new Fitbit Lux, but after that, it will cost you nine euros a month or 80 euros a year if you get a yearly membership from the get-go. Well, in my opinion, there are a few reasons 
to buy the Fitbit Lux and a few reasons not to buy it. Now, if you want a stylish fitness tracker, if you want to develop better habits, or if you enjoy cardio in a gym since you do not have built-in GPS, then go for the Fitbit Lux. But if you are a serious runner and you want to have a real smartwatch experience, then don't buy it. I mean, you only have a tiny screen with not too many features that you get with a smartwatch like NFC payment, on risk cards, or a bunch of fancy watch faces to choose from, just to mention a few. Now folks, that's already it for the video. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.